Hello. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Every actor dreams of landing the role that would stay in the history of television forever. Not only did Jim Parsons manage to get the part that eventually became iconic, but he also succeeded in keeping the audience enchanted by his acting for 12 long years. Well, hello. <laughs> You've probably guessed we are talking about Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. May you find as much happiness with each other as I find on my own. For Parsons, it was not an easy catch. The whole process of becoming Sheldon Cooper was a lot more challenging than many might allege. From dozens of failed auditions to maddening and even neurotic preparations for each shooting day. <laughs> so now, subscribe to Rumor Juice channel and get comfortable because we are about to tell you what life was really like for Jim Parsons when he was portraying Sheldon Cooper. You're unbelievable. I know. He auditioned for 15 failed pilots before starring on the show. According to Jim Parsons' own estimates, he had auditioned for between 15 and 30 television pilots before having been cast as Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory. It basically means that in most of those cases when he was cast, the show failed to find a network willing to purchase the show. Hey guys, guess who's back from space? Not, Not now! now. <laughs> Interestingly, when he auditioned for The Big Bang Theory, the series creators asked Parsons to come one more time. Not because he was bad, but because he was so good that they wanted to make sure he could replicate his performance. Sheldon, that would be me. So, Jim received his breakout role already in his 30s, even though he had been acting since childhood. After having his first role of the Cola Cola Bird in a school production of The Elephant's Child at the age of six, Jim knew he was destined to become an actor. It took Parsons time, hard work, and perseverance to reach his goal, but seems like it was all worth it. He didn't initially relate to his character. Upon getting the role of Sheldon, Parsons was impressed not with the character, but with the dialogue structure that created rhythm. And this is exactly why he considered the role to be a perfect fit for him. I like being chauffeured around. It makes me feel important. <laughs> Could he imagine that Sheldon, the socially awkward physicist, would not only become the face of the show, but would also become iconic on TV, winning him four Primetime Emmy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, a TCA Award, and two Critics' Choice Television Awards? I was expecting applause. <laughs> there was one thing that Parsons fell in love with in Sheldon's personality from the very beginning, as he mentioned years later in an interview with Variety. According to the actor, it was his character's quote, just enough level of cluelessness to get away with saying some of the most outlandish and inappropriate things. He also added, one of my favorite things about this character is a sort of lack of sentimentality. I don't mean to sound unromantic or unsympathetic, but I cannot stand sentimentality. And I feel very lucky to be playing a character that nine times out of 10, when something sentimental is happening in a script, I get to be the one to burst that bubble. And that gives me such great pleasure, I cannot tell you. Jim has never seen Star Trek. Everyone remembers that Sheldon is a huge fan of Star Trek and Doctor Who. In difficult moments like this, I often turn to a force greater than myself. Religion? Star Trek. Meanwhile, Parsons claims to have never seen either show. It was such a blow for the audience when Jim revealed this information to Radiotimes.com. He added apologetically that he knows all the references mentioned in the Big Bang Theory, though. If you think that was the weirdest thing he said during the interview, check this out. When asked about whether he would fancy to appear in Doctor Who, Parsons replied, Oh yes, yes I would be open to that. Having not seen it, it might be the most foolish thing I ever said, but yes, I would be open to that. He really panicked before shooting episodes. The actor confessed to getting super anxious the day before taping The Big Bang Theory, as he feared he would forget his lines. I'm attempting to view my work as a fleeting peripheral image so as to engage the superior colliculus of my brain. <laughs> Minding the specifics of his character, we can understand Jim's worries as he was bearing tremendous responsibility for the success of the show. The actor had to be perfectly prepared for his brilliant monologues, otherwise the show could have lost its spice. Parsons took it seriously, and he prepared for his scenes in a way that the show star himself calls maddening. And then, as far as literally memorizing the words, I'll have note cards. I do note cards all week, 
and in longhand, I write out all my lines again and again and again. And on the weekends, I drill them. I walk around with my note cards for each scene and do one scene at a time. And I'll go to my computer and I'll type the whole scene out on my Word doc, and then I'll go back and I'll do the second scene, and I'll type the whole scene out on a Word doc. Some can call it madness, but we call it commitment. Jim Parsons can actually play the theremin. The actor learned how to play the theremin after it was decided that it was Sheldon's favorite instrument. What are you doing? Playing the theremin. Theremin, controlled without physical contact, is not considered an easy instrument among musicians. Maybe it was one of the reasons for the show writers to pick it for Sheldon, who was never looking for easy ways. You wonder who is playing the piano for Sheldon on the show? As Parsons can't be playing two musical instruments, right? Nope. Bet you didn't know that I had bongos. As a matter of fact, the actor has been playing the piano off and on his entire life, and he's really good at it. Much better than at theremin. Parsons made huge money as Sheldon Cooper. In 2017, Jim became one of the highest paid actors on TV with the reported salary of $1 million per episode. But Parsons has never seemed like a person who has come into the business for money. And we have proof. In that very 2017, the Big Bang Theory stars, including Parsons, reportedly initiated a pay cut in their checks in order to raise the salary of their co-stars, Maya Bialik and Melissa Rausch, who earned significantly less than the series' leads. And looking slightly ahead, let us tell you that No Riches of the World helped CBS keep Parsons in the show. And it leads us to the next point. It was Jim's decision to leave the show. After 12 seasons on air, Parsons decided it was time to say goodbye to Sheldon in the CBS sitcom. It's the longest running sitcom, uh, a studio sitcom in history. According to Entertainment Weekly, the network tried to secure the series' original cast with a deal that would have nabbed $50 million for each actor, including profits. But for Parsons, it was time to move on and apparently challenge himself as an actor. His move eventually led to the cancellation of the show at the end of the season. He explained in his 2019 interview with Variety, No matter how successful you are, even if you're a huge success in movies, you don't get to check into the same parking space for 12 years. This is not how someone in a creative profession normally gets to behave. Still, it doesn't mean it was easy for Parsons to say goodbye to Sheldon, especially minding the incredible atmosphere on the set. As news of the Big Bang cancellation spread, Parsons took to his Instagram account with an emotional tribute. He expressed intense gratitude for the crew, writers, and cast. I will miss all of you and all of this more than I can say and more than I can know at this time. Even though the show was eventually canceled because of Jim's decision to move on, none of his colleagues seemed to have borne a grudge against him. Was everyone sad? Yes. Was everyone mad? Not at Jim, at least. His co-star, Kaylee Cuoco, shared her reaction to the news. I went through like kind of some weird, a lot of ups and downs, almost like someone had died in a weird way. I was just devastated. I couldn't stop crying for days. And then I was really angry. We, as the show fans, were going through similar stages. Right, guys? Jim also didn't know if there was life after the show. Okay, we know he literally ran away from big money, but in what direction? The actor himself confessed he had no idea what he wanted to do next, as he hadn't been in many projects outside the Big Bang Theory during those 12 years. Surprisingly, months after the end of the show, Parsons returned to TV as a real-life talent agent, Henry Wilson, in Ryan Murphy's Netflix miniseries, Hollywood. We don't want to spoil the series for you, so the only thing we'll claim is that you will be amazed by how different Jim's new character is from Sheldon. Showing off his transformation into the character, the actor posted an Instagram time-lapse video to thank the gifted hair and makeup artists who worked on the series. Oh, wow. It looks like Jim has gone through some serious hair transformation to look like the real-life Henry Wilson on the show. Thanks to the show, Parsons has already been commemorated twice. The wax figure of Jim Parsons sits at Madame Tussauds in Orlando. The actor met with Madame Tussauds artists in Los Angeles in 2014 to take the facial and body measurements. Over 150 measurements were taken to perfectly replicate the figure's head. More than 250 measurements were taken, in total, for the entire figure. Parsons couldn't be more excited about the process and eventually the outcome. He said, 
Every detail on this figure is incredibly accurate and precise. From the color of the eyes to the facial features, you can tell how hard the artists and sculptors work to achieve such a realistic portrayal. He even donated the outfit for his figure, the one he was wearing on the set. That's how excited the actor was. Soon, there came another good piece of news for Jim. In 2015, he was honored with a star on a Hollywood Walk of Fame. Humbly expressing his delight over becoming a name on Hollywood Boulevard, the actor said, I like how all-encompassing it is. It could be radio announcers you have never seen before, or very, very visible and famous actors.